Hi there! We'd like to share some recent observations with you all. These video clips take place on our land in the Colorado Mountains, where we've made our transition from the city to our off-grid homestead. More on that to come. This first observation was conducted at 8 p.m. Here are a few small objects we placed 70 feet away from our camera. On this evening, the light from the distant objects was able to travel to the viewer and the objects could be seen in full. The center of the camera lens was approximately half an inch above the surface after we dug a small hole for the camera to rest in. We staked a frisbee down to mark a spot that we could view from day after day. We conducted these observations over a spot on our land where water collects during a heavy rain and a small pond forms in order to find the most level point, viewing from one end of where the pond forms and placing the objects on the other end. We also placed a few stakes at 20, 40, and 60 feet from the camera, each one standing two inches high. These next clips are from observations we made between 10 and 4 p.m. over a few days. Here are some temperature readings from those observations. On this day, the objects could not be seen in full. Upward refraction creates a sinking effect and does not allow the light from the distant objects to arrive to the viewer in full. Like we've mentioned before, upward refraction is a common occurrence and is witnessed day after day, even in conditions with much cooler temperatures and over both land and water. We had to raise our viewing height in order to see the objects in full. Going up, Another look. Going up again. And down. That's me picking up one of the objects and raising and lowering it into and out of view. Here is another evening. Just to the left of the objects from the viewer's perspective, we placed a few other objects that are partially blocked from view by a small mound of dirt. We put them here to see if we might be able to witness looming one of these days. We raise our viewing height slightly and you can see the objects in full.
On this day, less of the light from the objects arrives to the viewer. Looming does not occur. Instead, the common sinking effect we witness day after day once again takes place. We have to raise our viewing height even more than we did the other night to see the objects in full. We'll have more observations and tests to show you soon. Thanks for watching.